the World Series is here. Astros, Braves, and that means it's time for us to discuss who most needs a ring, which players, general baseball people around these teams most deserve, who have most earned their first World Series ring. Jordan, who's at number five? Number five, we're going not just with an Astro. It's a Castro. You can't spell Castro without Astro. And we begin with Jason Castro, the Astros backup catcher. Now you might think, okay, Okay, well, why do I care about Jason Castro? This guy was drafted by the Astros way back in 2008. He came up with them when they were absolutely terrible and then left right before they won the World Series in 2017. I can only imagine how special it is for him to be back with the organization that drafted him. He had, of course, that big hit in the CS. It would be very cool to see Jason Castro get his first World Series ring. Number four, it's Dusty Baker. I'm sure you clicked on this video and you're like, Dusty's got to be number one. Well, he's not. He's number four. And the main reason is that he already has a ring. That's true. He hasn't gotten one as a manager in over two decades of of coaching, but he did win one as a player in 1981. So he physically owns a World Series ring, and therefore we could not put him at one on our list of who most needs a ring. Does that make sense? Is that okay? I think that's fine. I think that's fine. But like, come on. If you're, you know, closer to our age, you, you grow up and you know Dusty as the manager. So while he did win that one as a player 40 years ago, we would love to see him finally get when he's had so many great teams and this would be a great chance for him to finally lift that trophy all right at number three we're going back to the atlanta side of things this guy might not be a probable hall of famer like dusty baker it's jesse chavez one of the journeymen of all journeymen in this world series a reliever who's pitched for nine different teams and if he's not going to come for edwin jackson's record for most teams pitched for at least can we get him a world series ring i mean come on this seems like a good time for him. He's been really good this year. I mean, I know he hasn't pitched too much in October, but he had an year and three out of the Braves bullpen all season. There are a lot of people littered around the game who would be stoked for Jesse Chavez. He's got a lot of fans. I know it's a little bit off the trail, but trust us, Jesse Chavez needs a ring. At number two, Jordan Schusterman, it's Zach Granke. Fun fact time. Zach Granke has the most career innings pitched in October without a World Series ring. A record formerly held by Clayton Kershaw, very famously. He then got his ring last year. Granke is 24th all-time on most October innings, just amongst pitchers ever. But he's number one among those who do not have a championship. That's where you put a championship right here. He, he is a, you know, a future Hall of Famer, one of the best pitchers of his generation. Didn't have a chance to really pitch much in October early with Kansas City. He gets so close. Think about how good he was in that Game 7 in 2019 uh, against the Nationals, only to get pulled and watch them lose. Um, he's an amazing career. I know he hasn't contributed that much this October in particular, but if the Astros do get it done, he will be more than deserving. All right, that's number two. All right, well, oh my goodness, who, who could need it more than Zach Granke? Well, before we get to number one, we should, we should mention a couple honorable mentions. A couple other Astros you might be thinking, oh, Michael Brantley, Michael Brantley. He was the last out of the 2019 World Series. Another guy with an amazing career. Martin Maldonado, he doesn't have a World Series ring. He's one of our favorite catchers in the game, the field general uh, of Houston. That's another good one. I know on the Atlanta side, there, there's a few other good candidates as well right freddie freeman probably potentially the best player in the whole series he's gonna have his time like he'll get a ring eventually let's not fret he's a little too young for us to have him high up on this list and then brian snicker you could say i would say he was probably number six for us he just was in the brave system coaching for it an eternity finally made it to the world series but he's not number one at number one though it is a coach it is a skipper a manager not a manager now but third base coach for the atlanta braves ron washington nobody in the world series needs a ring deserves a ring more than him yeah i mean he didn't even play in the postseason as a player we know how close he came with those texas rangers with those back-to-back pennants and this it's amazing how much of much of a of a more fans he's gotten this october with his third base coaching with those sends uh, in the postseason so far. Everybody loves watching. It would be so cool to see one of the great veterans of the game finally get a World Series ring, even if he is, you know, just the third base coach. But he's been, he's been making the most of that title. Third base coaches, they're important, Jordan. They're very important. Do you hate our list? Do you think we suck? Me too. Well, let us know on Twitter or, you know, send me regular mail and be like, hey, your list is bad. Here's my top five. We can talk about it. I would love to hear your opinions. But those are our five. We go 
Jason Castro, Dusty Baker, Jesse Chavez, Zach Ranke, and Ron Washington. Let us know who you think needs a ring in 2021.